Amechi may consider returning to PDP because of these two reasons. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Mr. Rotimi Amechi, the former governor of River State, may have to retrace his ways back to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He should consider these two reasons for returning to the PDP as the 2023 general election approach after nearly a decade and the All Progressive Congress APC. Amechi was one of the most powerful People Democratic Party politicians to abandon the party in 2014. Others were Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president, Aminu Tambowal, the current governor of Sokoto State, and Bukola Saraki, the former governor of Kwara State. Amechi is one of the few that remains in the All Progressive Congress APC. The rift inside the APC River State chapter is the first reason Mr. Amechi should consider returning to the People Democratic Party PDP. All has not been well with a chapter of a party since its formation. And based on current trends, the crisis may persist beyond the general election in 2023. Furthermore, Amechi may be unable to lead a powerful party in the South-South state. When a faction loyal to the former member of the Senate proclaimed its support for Bola Tenembo, the rift between Amechi and Magnus Abbey got even more deep. It is unquestionably necessary to explain that Amechi was not carried along. The river state branch is fractious, which should prompt him to return to his original political party. Second, the former governor may get another chance to head river state state political structure. He used to be a formidable opponent. One year, some week he took charge and make it power dwindled quickly. Now the former governor has an opportunity to redeem himself. If a major rejoins the People Democratic Party PDP now or before the 2023 general election, he will be able to challenge Winkle for control of the party in River State. Of course, Winkle is not eligible for a third time as governor of a state. The People's Pre- the People Pre- the People Democratic Party ticket can then be obtained by another person. So if the All Progressive Congress is just unable to help Amechi, he should just return to his original party where he formerly held such esteem. Truth be told, eh? Truth be told, the person given the suggestion, no problem. There is no problem with anybody cross capitating from one particular party to another. Of course, we always know that, you know, politicians are like bees that are swarmed around, that are swarmed around by, you know, their search for honey. When they stay here, they cannot find that thing again. They go, they move to another, another particular, another party. When they're here, there is no more honey for them. They search and search. There's no more they move. So, yes. But where I'm not even buying it is, how did this person fare? You see this thing called politics. It is not a good game at all. Politics mean, in, 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 in the eyes of Nigerians now, politics mean selling your conscience for your political ambition, removing your humanity side of you, the part that shows sympathy and empathy for people. Yes. The part where you have integrity is thrown away. Since to be sincere, that is what it means. So it is a very, very, very dirty game. Now, for this man to come back, how did he fare when he was the former governor of um, River State? How did it fare? The thing is, all these things do not matter. If, if we have, um, how am I going to say it now? If the youth in River State or the people of River State will not be gullible to vote for someone who did not do well. How did he do when he was a governor of the River State? How did he do well? How did he do? When the people of River State come and say, oh, this man did well, then if, he's, if it is 
what they are going to say. If he's going to give a positive affirmation of, okay, you did well, then no problem. But if it is not, then I don't even see, I don't even see it being necessary. Sincerely, I don't. I do not. If the people of River State can come together and, you know, with one voice say, oh, okay, fine. This person did not do us well. Um, we do not want him in any capacity. My take. My take, yes. People will come and say, oh, I'm not a political person. Sincerely, I am totally apolitical. You cannot exist without having empathy and sympathy and not having integrity. Never. Yes, your name is going to be in the books of history that you did this and did that. How would it affect you? How are people going to see you? Will your integrity would have been at stake? Because what I'm saying this is politicians are, are, have showed us, but the ones you think that, oh, this person, oh, he's, he's, he's speaking for the people, he's very emphatic, you see that everything is just a game to them. Human life is a game to them, a lot of things. So is, instead of this particular type of, how am I going to put it now, game, what is it going there? What does it have to offer the people of River State? I think it should back out and allow those who have not even been given the opportunity. To be sincere, I don't even see why leaders should be recycled. If you ask me, you have, you know, come out for office and you have done your, your bid. <laughs> I feel if you did not do well, except you did well, if you did not do well, then you, you leave after the two, after the four years. After that, bye-bye. There is not supposed to be a repetition of, oh, okay, after um, you did four years, somebody came in, you know, of eight years, somebody came in and, you know, you want to come in again as soon as, oh, no. Give other people the chance. That is why I'm saying Politics in Nigeria means greediness. It means you are not sympathetic. You are not. You don't have empathy for the people. You don't take integrity to you. You don't all those things because you come out and say a lot of things, but the one they claim they don't mean. They're doing it just for the game of politics. So, I keep saying this: that only if all the states in Nigeria are going to see politics as a business venture, I go into this thing and me coming out. Um, coming out with a lot of profit at the end of the day is my game plan. It's my game plan, and and me ensuring my shareholders now in this share in this in this um in this arena now or in this type of um um business, the shareholders are the citizens. Make sure they are fine. Those who invest in the, those who pay who bring up money in taxes and all of that. So if it is seen like that, there will be no problems. The people of River States will choose for themselves if they want this particular politician or another one. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.